today we're going to install the voltmeter and tachometer right here. We need to turn the key on. And over here, if you look right here, I got this hooked up to a ground. The green wire is going to the negative side of the voltmeter. And what we're going to want to do And what we're going to want to do is take this side of the voltmeter and find, see how I'm testing these right here? I want to find one that says 12 volts so we can switch into power to power it. And there we go, right here, this black wire right here is the one we're going to tie into for power. Curl, what I'm doing is curling this wire over, sticking this female connector on it, and then once I get it on there, crimping it down. Crimping those on, then I'm gonna solder right down in here on all these to make these connections good. First thing we want to do, put a little bit of flux right on where we put the wires. That way when we solder, it'll pull the solder down into those wires. Once you get your soldering iron hot enough, Now we need to make three extension wires to go from the ground, the positive, and then all the way to the ignition coil. We're going to start with just a regular wire. We're going to take two of these males and we're going to solder them onto the end of this wire. Once you have the wire stripped, don't forget to put some flux on it. You always want that solder to get drawn to the wire. Stick these in here. Same thing as last time. Once you get it in, you just clamp it down. Get it in. Clamp it down. And then we're going to solder it. And then we're just going to repeat that step for all three wires. We also want to paint it to match the bike. If the bike's black, we're going to hit this thing with some black paint. It's hella hot out here, so it's going to dry pretty quick because it's so hot outside. 100 some degrees, boys. Let it dry. Here's what we mounted. That's what the first steps we're gonna do is mount it up. We ran the wires right here on the back. And 
I'm gonna show you how to hook it up now. After you hook up the power, you're gonna wanna protect this metal. Some electrical tape. You don't want any short circuits under here. Remember this is a 12 volt live circuit. That's when we hooked up the ground. It comes to here. We're gonna put electrical tape on this. This plugs right into the ground, right here. After hooking this up, we split it, came all the way under this, up to this blue wire, kept going around, and we're gonna plug it right into there. This wire into there, then we test it. Pull off this tape, the paint, we should be looking good underneath here. Yeah, it's perfect, not too bad. Let's see if we come on.